All right, Scorpios, welcome to the channel. We're going to start off with your reading for your love life. If this does resonate, remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up on the channel. And also, guys, I will have the Instagram link below in the description box as well, okay?
discovering yourself in a magician here and really just uh, starting to manifest a lot of things that you do want in your life because up here is toxic. I feel like you guys have been struggling with all this negative energy for so long and now that you're just like seeing everything for what it is, you're like manifesting your future. Um, for some of you, you're getting into spiritual aspects, maybe going to church, maybe like um, joining some kind of group, like healing group, okay, as well. I feel like a lot of you are learning the spiritual world as, as well with manifestation, you know, meditation, learning how to breathe or control your breathing. This is what I'm hearing. It's like you're very much open to this, okay, this aspect, and this feeling is very strong in the magician being here. I'm seeing Gemini Virgo energy as well coming through here, all right? I'm also seeing Capricorn as well, Libra as well. Um, I feel like a lot of you are dealing with some kind of addiction going back and forth with someone here. Like there's this toxic environment that you are like really just trying to get out of spiritually, mentally, physically. You're trying to like really just start your life over, but it's a struggle because this person appears to like, they don't like the actions that you're doing, it doesn't phase them. This is what I'm hearing. Like it doesn't phase them. That you, they feel like you're not going to go anywhere. You're not going to succeed and you're dealing with this energy around you. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like it's this cockiness about them. This I told you so about them. It's like they want to be right, you know, but I feel like this person is dramatically stuck into this toxic environment i feel like yes there could be a change with this person in the devil but at the same time this person is enjoying this this moment the way their energy lies you know they're not trying to change it for anybody i feel like this person is only going to change for themselves you know i feel like the same person here wants to give you or show you some kind of beginning a new friendship you know start over i'm getting this start, let's start over a moment all the time I feel like the, this could be love, you guys, with this person, but I feel like you need to watch out for this kind of energy here behind the Nine of Cups. This could be a, a future person coming through as well that you need to watch out for, for those of you, okay? Or this could be the present. I'm also seeing the justice here, and I'm also seeing the king of staff, the ten of swords in reverse. There's definitely some kind of like moving on, closing chapters, you know, starting new beginnings, realizing everything that you have been dealing with here. A lot of your past energy wants to come back in the tower, you know? They do, but you found out the truth about everything that this, these people were doing or lying to you or hiding from you. You found that out, Scorpio. So now you're in the process of making decisions and making changes here, but you're taking it little by little, step by step. This is what I'm hearing. You're trying. For some of you, you really dramatically changed a lot of things around you, but at the same time, the energies are moving very slowly here because these things these situations are lingering, like they try to come back and you're dealing with it anyway at that same pace, little by little. Mm. There is going to be some kind of truth, some kind of clarity, some kind of change. Um, that's coming to you in the justice being here, definitely balance being, or the scales being back on your end okay, or being balanced back into your situation. So whatever has been taken from you, just know that the angels are watching and they're actually bringing balance and the scales back to where it needs to be. Because I feel like this person was unfair to you. Whoever these energies are were unfair to you. They were trying to take from you. They were trying to, you know, make you look like it was you and not them kind of attitude. This is what I'm seeing. But I feel like at the same time, they know it was them and they didn't want to change or confront you about this toxic environment that they created with your life. They didn't want to take responsibility of it in the four of wands. For some of you, you're really feeling like this is, this is not going to change. This is what you deserve. 
this is where you need to be. Like you really feel like the four of wands in reverse is your life. And that's what the angels have for you. And I'm here to tell you like that mindset, Scorpio, is what's holding you back. Okay. So you need to really change a lot of your changes, your thinking, your way of doing things, you know, looking for a new direction in life. This is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing a lot of like a lot of maturity, a lot of growing. And that's why you're definitely closing a lot of doors when it comes to toxic relationships. And I'm also seeing that you're forgiven. You're forgiven those that hurt you, that harmed you, that, you know, backstabbed you. This could also be a friendship in this Knight of Cups. Someone that was really close to you, a Capricorn, I, you know, I feel like in the past, this person was really cold. Like they just, you looked at them and you didn't even know who they truly were. But for some of you, you were friends for so long. And now this person is coming back in your life and trying to like really just ask for your forgiveness, ask for another chance. But I feel like you're going to be mature about this. It's going to be surprised how much you change. You're going to be surprised how much you changed. Okay. Now, this could be love because this is a love reading, you guys. Okay. So, you know who this is. All right. So, let's look at your career. Okay. And I'm going to use another deck because I'm not trying to. Um, have the same energy sometimes the energy that i'm talking about today within the deck all right so let's see what's going on for scorpio career angels do you have any messages for scorpio career we're going to do an eight swatch for this one scorpio career to know here about your career. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, everything is slow at this present time when it comes to um, a career, all right? Something, when I say career, I'm talking about in the future, something that's going to give you that stability, that um, foundation, that legacy, something that you're going to end up, you know, help you to leave something behind, all right? I feel like you are strong and confident in yourself to like do anything to change anything when it comes to your money. All right. If you need money, you know how to make it. But I am also feeling like you're taking up a lot of responsibilities, like you're trying to impress someone, Scorpio, in this 10 of wands being here. The seven of wands is also next to it. So definitely you have a lot of haters at the job. Okay. That doesn't want to see you succeed. I feel like you're always like trying to plead your case, um, explain your decisions, your actions, and just make these people understand your point of view and why you did what you did. All right. And I feel like this is not going to end well for you because I'm seeing like you're losing your patience with these people. Okay. You might be starting like getting into arguments and fights at, and you don't need that. That's the last thing you need because it's going to affect your way of your money, the way people think of you, the way people see you, because you guys know, like when they look at a Scorpio, everybody knows what a Scorpio look like, right? We have that face, that unapproachable face. And it depends what you have in your chart. If you're a people person, you got that Sag, that Aries that Leo vibes in your chart, then you are definitely not Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio <laughs> in all aspects, okay? But if you are straight Scorpio in every form, you know that face, right? That face knows when you're a Scorpio. Those folks know when you're a Scorpio. So you are judged and looked at very differently because you're so straightforward, so cold with the things that you say, and you don't mean to be, but you're not there for the bull crap. You're not there to be fake. You can't be fake, right? And But these people don't know that about you, all right? So you need to be very careful how you approach these folks, trying to, you know, ruin your game, take your light, take your opportunity, because I'm seeing a lot of people around you that 
doesn't want to say they have it. They can do it when it comes to your money, all right, when it comes to that career right now. I'm seeing like a lot of you are letting these people have their way with you and you need to watch your temper, all right? There's going to be communication with this. I feel like you're going to get a message about an opportunity very soon. This is coming in the future. Um, this might be moving a little bit slowly, but it's coming towards you. You might like the opportunity. You might not. You might feel like it's something that you tried before. I feel like you're getting bored with what you're doing now. And it's something similar to what you're doing and you want more. You want something that fulfills you, okay, in the Two of Cups. You want something that you feel like it's right for you, like you're going to grow from this. So I say be patient when it comes to your career. I'm saying like, you know, play the game, Scorpio. You know how to play the game. You know how to sit back and relax and just know who is who. Look at everybody's personality. Know who's there for you and know who's not because I'm seeing a lot of haters. And they're trying to like give you everything. Why am I seeing like you're... Um, for some of you, you're trying to keep the peace by taking up a lot of responsibility, doing multiple things at once in the Ten of um, Wands here, trying to hold up everything. But, and, and doing it by yourself too, alone, trying not to ask for help. But I'm hearing you need to start asking for help, saying that you can't do it. If you have too many accounts, just say you can't handle it. You know, you need help. It's okay. Because the same person, you're busy taking all these accounts and the same person who was like, look, I only have five accounts and that's all I can handle is the one getting promoted. Because they're coming off as someone that definitely could communicate, um, could, you know, translate how they feel, all right, and put their feet down. Because see, management looking at someone that can't be controlled or walked all over by their employees. So don't just try to please people, but also remember to stand up for yourself when it comes to careers, okay? So, all right, let's see what the person that you're thinking about wants to say to you. I also want to include that into this read. Let's see what the person on your mind wants to say to you to your face, but can't. Scorpio. Scorpio, please. The person that's on their mind. What the person want to say to Scorpio but can't? Can't at this time. desk just now and the camera is facing this way and I'm putting everything over here because I'm so used to that okay so let's see here hmm. they're not ready to make a decision yet um when it comes to something that they're going back and forth about um this is what I'm seeing all right and they want you to know that I'm also seeing like they want to make peace with whatever is going on between you and them. There is some like stagnant here, stagnant energy between you and this person. Like you guys are not seeing eye to eye in the two of swords. Um, and they made a decision about that. Because what's important here is this person wants you to be happy. If it's with them or if it's with someone else, all right? They want you to be happy. They want to be happy. They want to be free from any kind of toxic relationship. Yeah, anything that's holding you back in life. They understand that this communication between you and them is some of you no-go. None of you are talking to each other. You're putting your feet down. Some of you have been together for so, so long in the King of Swords, and you're just putting your feet down and cutting this person off completely. But at the same time, with the sun being here, for some of you, you're dealing with a Leo or a Gemini. I'm seeing all that energy come through here, okay? And you're just feeling like, you know, what means more to you is your happiness. What means this person, what this person wants for you to be happy. I don't know why I'm stuttering with this message. But this person is saying, like, there is no communication here. But they would love to see you again. You know, they would love to talk to you about getting back together. Hopefully, you know, in the future between you and them. Because there is a lot of love here between you and this person. 
And this person wants a new beginning with you. They want to try in the lovers. They want to rebuild. They want to, you know, work out this relationship between you and them. But there is some waiting. There's some gaps here. Like someone was missing for a while. Like someone wasn't with you for a while. This is what I'm seeing. Like this person let this whole situation linger for a while. And now there is no way in their mind that you will give them another chance. I feel like this person is letting you go. You know, this is what I'm hearing here. That this person is just like, you know what? I don't see a way that this could work. But I'm not making any move towards making it work either. It's like what happens, happens here. It's like if we meet up, if we see each other again, great. But if not, I'm not making any moves with that situation. And this is what I'm feeling for this energy. I'm also seeing the Eight of Pentacles, the Seven of Swords, the Hermit, the Ten of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Chariot. No doubt this person loves you and know that um, they want to be successful with you and, and know what direction they want to take. I feel like in the Chariot, though, I'm just going to say there's a lot of things that this person been through. All right, a lot of baggage that this person been through as well, and a lot of things that they need to take care of. They know this, they accept this, and I feel like this person is trying to get their life in order before coming towards you. It's a slow process, but I feel like when they do, it's going to be great, you know, with them. This is what they're thinking in their mind. I feel like this person at this moment that can't do it right now. They have to get that baggage that they got going on because I'm seeing the two of pentacles right inside the chariot. It's like this person is saying, yes, I'm juggling something right now um, and I can't make that decision. I can't make that decision to pick either one. This could be financially, okay? For those of you who are, you know, you know, your person is working too much and you know it's their job or whatnot and this person is just like giving you the time that they have to give you. It's like they feel like they can give you, do both. They can work really hard and they can be in a relationship with you. Because at the end of the day, the charity is here. They're looking at you. Their attention is you. Their mind is set on you. Okay. This person still thinks of a future with you in the Ten of Cups here. It's in the upright. You know, future is still like, if, if I will be with anybody and I had a choice, it will be you. Again, but all of this is just in their mind, you know? The chariot is the only thing here that I'm seeing like this person is coming, you know? But I feel like they're going to come on their time when you least expect it because they're saying time has passed here. They made a mistake. They didn't choose soon enough. They didn't, you know, take care of this situation, this um, conflict between you and this person soon enough. There was a lot of lies here as well that I'm seeing. The Ace of Pentacles is also showing up. The Hermit is also showing up here. I'm getting Virgo energy for those of you, Cancer, for those of you who are with those particular energies. I feel like this person realizes that it's okay that you step back. You step back to try to find out what's out there for you and also do this alone. And this is a temporary fix. This is what I'm feeling with the Hermit. It's a temporary fix. I feel like you just want to find out if, you know, this relationship is what it is. Like, if this relationship is all that you got to offer. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all that's coming into your life. And you need time, Scorpio, to find out for yourself. And that's fine. And this person knows it. You know? One day, hopefully, you guys could work things out. But for now, you're trying to, like, back up and focus on yourself. And try to get yourself back, you know, being on your own. Just for now. Just for now, I don't feel like it's a permanent, you know, I feel like the hermit is temporary. It's not a permanent situation, but right now you just want to be on your own and figure things out for you. I'm also seeing, you know, things that you found out here, and this is why you went your way. This is why you made the decision for you, you know, to just do this. Because you figure out a lot of things that this person was hiding or telling, you know, trying to keep from you here and you found this out on your own. Or other people around you may have shared some kind of information and showed you some facts as well. 
with the seven of swords being in reverse because you found out and you made that decision to back up from this relationship but it's funny how this person is just thinking of you in all kind of good light you know i don't feel like this relationship is over for those of you who are feeling the energy because you should be feeling this you should be feeling like something is coming and you don't know what it is and there's this um, love this energy of love and you're like, whoa, what is that force of energy? You should be feeling it because it's your person. It's like this force of a wind within your body. And you're like, whoa, what is that? I feel like, you know, this person, you know, for some of you that's coming off like really like a foundation here. Um, Again, for me with this unknown, you know, walkway here it could just be anything this could be a foundation with a home with children with marriage for those of you this is still in the upright i feel like this person this reading is for someone that is just there is no communication here but there is so much love here you know of course there's a past situation coming up but this person sees you as well as their future this is what i'm feeling so I'm going to use some um, cards here that I haven't used in a minute. I'm just going to make this a little bit different. I'm trying to because I do daily videos on here, Scorpio, as you know, and some of the messages might just be like the same thing every day because it's an every day <laughs> drawing energy, y'all. So it's not going to be quite different. So the game that I'm doing is really just try to make things a little bit more informational and hopefully we can you know be on the same page here okay okay so tell me about this energy please any other messages for scorpio when it comes to this person when it comes to the love any messages that this person wants to let Scorpio in on what they're feeling, what they want to share. Okay. So the first one that I'm feeling here is the timing just wasn't right for us. And I feel like this person is, again, trying to figure things out, you know, trying to figure things out in a chariot. Not that they don't want to be with you because they do. Okay. But it's going to take them time. They're going to, this person is not a fast-paced person. This is not what I'm getting. This person doesn't move as fast as, you know, okay, in the nights. Quick, quick, nah. They're trying to figure things out. So they're moving very, very slowly. They're trying to, um, whatever baggage they got, they're trying to delete that and make sure when they come to you, there is none of that. But it's a process, right? So tell me more about this energy. Oh, some messages down here. What is this? Wishing on a star for you. Wow. What is this one? <laughs> you light up my life. Do you see this? Wishing on a star for you. You light up my life. That explains the sun. Look at that. That explains the sun. I feel like this person is saying anything that is positive in their life, like every memory that they have with you, they just want to know that they're not trying to bury that. They're not trying to forget it. Um, it's very important. They hold on to it. They remember everything. They might not appear to be everything that you want in the physical world, but in the spiritual world, they're highly um, emotional towards you and they're highly connected as well towards you. Okay. And I feel like you give them that happiness. They give you, well, they're saying that, you know, your happiness means a lot um, to, to them. All right. So let's see here. Got more messages I need to shuffle. Do you have anything else for me, angels or Scorpio? Anything else for me for Scorpio? Anything else for me for Scorpio? Wow. 
very connected. You are my twin flame. Gemini confirmed here. Listen, I get goosebumps when I do these readings, y'all, because the angels are very powerful. And I just read the cards again. I just read the cards, y'all. I'm just the messenger. Trust me. I can't control what comes out of here, but this person wants you to know we are twin flame. And the funny thing is that this card is a twin flame card. It came out. Gemini energy. Listen, I didn't even want to say that because a lot of you, I see the comments and like you're saying that you got the same message over and over. And this is what the angels want you to know. It is what it is. It's just confirming what I just said. Yes, this is a twin flame connection, a very passionate connection. Move very quickly. This is what I'm hearing. For those of you, I don't feel like you got to know each other on an um, emotional level <laughs> at first. It kind of went after the physical, you know, after all of that. And then you start knowing each other. But twin flames are great, like I said, you know, connections. But that's when you're on the right, like you guys have an understanding. If you don't have an understanding and you don't build a relationship on an emotional or a mental um, level where you guys know each other, try to get to know what this person likes, what this person accepts, what this person doesn't accept, then it's going to be an issue because it's only based on physical, okay? Because this person is highly want to be with you. They highly want to be with you. All they're thinking about is the bedroom, honestly. I'm just saying, listen, it is what it is. This part for me... Kissing, hugging, holding hands, can't stop, you know, cuddling. As soon as they get to you, in the bedroom. That's all they're thinking about. I mean, they do love you, don't get me wrong, but they're very highly passionate towards you as well. All right, so can I have a card, please? Moving on, thank you, next. There's a different energy coming through. Somebody that's really pissed off and ready to move on, clearly. Moving on, thank you, next. <laughs> period can i have another card so we have two different energy one is still in love and the other is like damn this experience was very much over in zone with and this explains the eight of pentacles like this person knows exactly what happened they're taking responsibility and i was like why is this eight of pentacles in reverse though they're really taking the l on this one you see this is the L card for me, y'all. You know, this would have reminds me of a big fat L. <laughs> and this person is taking it. And not seeing no form of way that they can make things right. They're not working on this. They're not working on this. They're not putting their energy into it. This is what I'm seeing. It's like a loss in the eight of Pentacles. Can I have one more? Okay. I want to think about my future where you're in it. Oh, wow. This person want to think of I, I, Look at this. It's like I'm pulling cards with the angels already told me. I told you, like, when the eight of, the ten of um, cups, the two of pentacles, the chariot. It's like they have a decision to make that they're not ready to make yet. They really look at you as their future. They still have a future mindset with you. Like there is going to be a way, but they just don't know what it is. That's going to bring you guys back together. When I think about my future, you're in it. Wow. Let's do one more and end this. Okay. Because it's already at 34 minutes. I wasn't expecting your videos to be this long today. Okay. Hmm. You're not good for me. Two different energies. Look at that. It's not that you're saying, uh, Scorpio, this could be your energy that is just pissed off on this person, honestly. You're saying, moving on, thank you, next. You're saying, you're not good for me. You're not saying, I don't love you. Because there's love here, clearly. But this person hurts you. 
this person hurt you and you're just you just want to not feel that hurt no more and you want to move forward all right but be careful scorpio make sure you're making the right decision for you not because you're running from something but because you're ready for something all right this is what i have for you i hope it resonates um if it doesn't i will have a link in the description box for you which is your playlist and also guys go over to the instagram as soon as we reach a 5k mark on the instagram i'm definitely going to start those free personal readings over there and live and also guys Thank you so much for all your love and support, and I'll see you guys in your next reading. Bye, guys.